Hello, my friends. Welcome to the new year of 2017, 2017, how they would say it. Um, I don't know who's they. Currently in a hotel lobby. It's been a pretty interesting, unconventional new year, I guess. Uh, celebration. And I thought, hey, like this is like the 1st of January. Actually, I should make it's like to be like pretty cool if I make like a f maybe like a few videos. So I think like this one I'll do like 2016 in review. Um, I think this year was like compared to the other years. I think this year's this year were, was like the previous two years. This year was more of a balanced year, a more well balanced year, and I think I'm, I really do feel like I'm uh, progressing from year to year, which is very important, um, very good. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, <clears throat> I f of course, I feel like I could do more and I could progress at a faster rate, but at least I think uh, I do feel like I have, uh, I have done better overall this year. Uh, in all areas um, so just to, a quick glimpse over my 2016 was I guess the major part is me living uh, like seven or eight months in Malta uh, with the poker friends was this I guess was like the the, the interesting uh, the most important interesting experience of the year um, overall I think I did work, I wish I worked harder, I wish I was a bit more organized with my time and I was just, I think the whole theme, especially, and actually like the throughout, actually yeah, throughout the whole year, the whole theme was, okay, really hard, like a period of like really grinding hard, then a short period of like really going out and really not grinding much, and then boom. And then boom, and then boom. So and like really oscillating between these two, like grinding like really hard and like not having a social life, not going outside, uh, and stuff like this. But and then like having a social life, seeing people going out. So in all areas, like being pretty inconsistent instead of having more of like a balanced workflow, like consistent, consistent steady of having time for this, having time for that. It was more like this extreme or this extreme, this extreme or this extreme. Um, which, yeah, I don't really like, to be honest. Uh, but it was, I guess, it was, uh, yeah, like, good enough, good enough. Um, I, wrote, I wrote down, like, so, uh, actually, let me see, let me think some other things. Then I, I came back to Romania, then I was uh, actually, like, traveling around, seeing friends for one, la, let's keep the, uh, okay, la, yeah, keeping the lighting decent. I was traveling for a bit then, like, seeing friends, like, went back to Malta, stayed some, uh, stayed for a while in Bucharest, uh, went to Timisoara, another big city in Romania, and in that period I was pretty inconsistent with my work. I, so, I guess, like, the first lesson, actually, yeah, it is, is that you need that I yeah I do need I felt like maybe I can overpower that but I do need a more structured like working space and it's to be I need it to be like more constant in my life so I have like okay this constant like grinding space where like working when my mind when I go there my mind is like okay I'm gonna work now I think that was pretty important I I not going all around I think that could be done as well that can be done if you want to work but if you want to work like a lot like many hours a day and have like consistent quality work done I think uh, yeah like being in one place uh, is uh, easier it's easier if you if you are prioritizing the work part of your life um so yeah I guess actually this was the first big lesson um, then yeah now like at the end of the year again like more chill more like winding down but still putting in I think uh, with my work overall like my poker game and stuff uh, I think the most like the the biggest transition was me instead of putting in just work 
um, having like work put in, I was uh, I, I started being more focused. I think I really made like big progress in the area of quality of quality work of making setting myself up so that I work for like have like quality work done instead of just like work work like mediocre and like uh, like was like mind was tired unfocused work and I think uh, that was a big shift that this brings a big shift in my results um, that is for sure a big realization of seeing like actually how important quality is and then setting up my life around like being able to work uh, in a quality like uh, state of mind uh, that was like pretty good so I guess like to work the the sleeping schedule not the sleeping hours the sleeping schedule was was changed to towards the end of the year now I started like sleeping as much I actually I saw a video on that which I felt like inspiring it was like okay I'm gonna sleep until I feel rested instead of putting my alarm or like usually I had the previous sleeping schedule I had it was sleeping six hours waking up doing some work and then uh, uh, taking an afternoon nap uh, after the afternoon nap I was very fresh I was I could like really work very good but before the afternoon nap, after the six hours, I still felt like very tired and I couldn't do like quality work almost at all. Um, it was like very frustrate, frustrating and I think this mode where I do uh, where I do sleep more every night, like just I guess I don't really take naps anymore right now um, and I think this works better for me. I will still take naps from time to time if it's needed but it's not a daily ritual anymore. Um, let's go something else. Let's go a bit more. Okay, so I feel like the I had this uh, had all of them written down before. Had it like a, a bit more structured video. Um, so yeah, I think another thing is I realized is that you also need conscious relaxation in your life. Really planning for relaxing time and feeling kind of like understanding that doing something relaxing like I don't know, like sauna or jacuzzi or massage um, understanding that actually that were, uh, how I did perceive it was oh yeah this is kind of just like some sp spoiling myself and hey, I don't really need that it's just like some pleasures so like I, I would indulge in which is not very helpful but it's just like for the senses oh yeah like such such a good vi such a good feeling uh, and I don't really need that but actually I understand now I understand that it's actually you have these periods of where you work 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 but you also need these periods of recovery and you also have to like really think about I think you also have to plan for these periods of recovery as much as you plan for the periods of work so you don't burn yourself out and you will keep a steady flow of working because when you do something like this actually yesterday was the first time I got a massage which was it was like very cool especially if you hit the gym I think it's very cool uh, and it's like very relaxing very I don't know like refreshing for my body and then like uh, uh, two or like something like two months back I was like the first time when I was like at the sauna yeah like I always avoided sauna like sauna and jacuzzi and I just like going for like uh, like for a bit of a swim there um, I realized yeah wait actually this um, this is actually very helpful and I do need these it was like the, it's like the first time in my life where I just like deliberately like based on circumstances actually I did it was not my choice uh, I did something like this and I felt like it was, uh, yeah, like I felt like it was very helpful. Uh, and it's very important to like also consider having periods of like where you rebuild your energy, not just like expand, 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 but also deliberately rebuilding your energy and I don't know, like surfing, mindlessly surfing stuff on internet or doing like stuff like that is not relaxing, it's not rebuilding your energy. Um, Next up, um, higher path, yes, so what I came to realize is life can throw you, throw you like around, uh, you can get like thrown around a bit by circumstances, a big, uh, big jump in perspective in my paradigm was uh, really going into like the stoic philosophy 
and I really resonated with that. Basically, just thinking, like really focusing on what you can control and what's in your area of control and letting go of all else, which is very subtle and very important. Uh, and it's like very, it has like different layers of achieving this. So it's like continuous uh, skill, I guess, you develop. Um, so going back to this, like this higher path, this having like bigger goals, I think normally you have like, all these circumstances, all this shit going on in your life where you are more, you are like kind of like thrown around like oh, this, that, like some dramas, some personal drama, some like this person did this, this person did that, that person said this, um, this happened to me, I did that, or yeah, like this circumstance, whatever. And I think it's very easy to just oh, oh, get caught up in all this like petty stuff. Uh, and I, what I realize is, okay, like if I have some higher goals, some higher mission, some higher path, I am following, and if I am focusing like that on that, all this will override all these petty uh, annoyances that are actually outside my control. And every time I feel like I I fall into like just like some like personal drama or some yeah like being distracted about like some this petty stuff that is not very important in the long run. I remind myself, yeah, I'm falling into like this petty stuff again. What is my goal? Keep bring, bring my bring my mind back. Okay, refocus on what is my goal, my like my my long-term goals, uh, some like higher passion, higher higher path, and how can I refocus on that instead of getting caught up in all this? I think it's actually very good for like your mental well-being. Basically, to not just get a, get out, get caught up in all the drama. Um, so I feel like a big lesson in Malta with about people in general, uh, because so I spent seven months there and I interacted with people from a lot, like from many cultures. Uh, there are like people from like all over the world there, basically, like literally, literally all over the world. Um, so it was very interesting. I interacted with like quite a few people. Not that many, that but like quite a few cultures, and it was interesting to see like how similar everyone is, how similar, how easy it is like for everyone to resonate with everyone. Because I guess for because of, of all all of this uh, globalization stuff, I think in uh, in general, I think it's pretty easy to to get along with everyone. And I think that was a big lesson that people are friendly. If you are friendly with them, and just people are good, and you can get along with people basically from anywhere around the world. The, uh, around the world, um, I think that was pretty cool. Uh, so, I guess another big lesson is on this, um, like another thing, like another big thing for me, so around uh, going back to this higher path stuff, higher goals. Uh, so, how important it is having like really concrete set goals, and I don't know. Having like being like really deliberate about you, what you're doing, on uh, like having like some long term like six months, one year, whatever. Then having them broken down to monthly, having them broken down to weekly, having them broken down to daily, uh, daily, 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 daily. <laughs> and I think that's crucial. I uh, but I just came to realize more and more how important that is because I was like, yeah, I didn't, I don't really need like really concrete goals, like really concrete, like really specific for like every day or like every week and whatever I thought, <laughs> but no, I just, I'm coming to realize more and more that it's, it's not like something optional if you want to ha have like big success long term. I think it's like, yeah, you can do without that. No, I, I see, I, I saw the effects on myself of not having that because I thought, yeah, like I generally know what, where I'm going, but actually when you generally know when you're, where you're going and you, you don't have like very specific goals, really measurable goals uh, for like your daily life, for your weekly life, um, I think it's very easy to go adrift and really go vroom, like really wobble around and really get thrown off very easily because, oh, what if this is interesting? Oh, this is interesting. Instead of, okay, wait, I have these goals and these will override all the all the stuff, will calm it down. And I know my priorities. I have my priorities straight and I can decide based on that what I do with my daily life. I have an aim where I am going and I have some measure for it. Uh, I think that's, again, crucial and will make a massive 
I think it's, it makes a massive. Uh, it would make a massive uh, difference in my results long term if I approach it like this instead of like being a drift, being like oh, not having something specific in mind and like measurable and like really do do do, do daily. I kind of like hate that. Some part of me like really kind of like hates being like that organized. But I think I can work it. I can like deal with. Um, I don't know. I think it was a pretty cool year. I think it was a pretty good year. Uh, I think I another like some something else. I think I'm uh, actually way more social now, uh, interacting with. Uh, I did interact with quite a few people, especially interacting with people from other cultures, from other countries. Um, yeah, I do think I still fall into this like anti-social mode when I don't really go out a lot. But I think uh, yeah, like. I do still have this social self, which is, I think is very attuned, and I think I really develop this social mess. I do have like uh, with my friends, <clears throat> the social part of my life. I, I'm actually very, very happy with it. I think I do feel like I have a lot of close friends, a lot of friends, um, and this year I, I actually I guess I added some new close friends, and from that perspective, yeah, like a big lesson is. I realized how happy this kind of social part of life is making me, how big of an impact it has on me. Whew. I think the food is here. My friend I ordered some food for us and yeah, pretty cool times in this hotel, pretty sick hotel, uh, pretty sick times. And I guess I'm gonna be back with another video soon for 2017, 2017. Well, yeah, until next time, I'm gonna go get some something to eat I had I hope you had like a wonderful 2016 maybe think about yourself what were the main lessons for you because I think this will like really internalizing this and conscious uh, being conscious of this my main lessons I think it will help you like start this new year with something new to think about something where you can improve upon and be better this year so yeah peace out Daniel show for see you